Hello, my name is Aviva, and today I'm going to be reorganizing my romance bookshelf. So the one that I have behind me is all of my romance books. I do have more books in my library other than those. I do have an entire like fantasy shelf, and then I have a bunch of books that are like stacked on the floor. And happens to be, I already have all of my YA romances stacked on the floor because I have been out of shelf space here for a very long time. So anytime I get new books, I always have to take something off. And YA was the first to go. And happens to be, I recently just got a bunch more books. You can see the stack right behind me. Those are all the books that I talked about in my most recent book haul, which I had just posted before this video. And now I actually have to find space to put them on my shelves. And the thing is, is that I finally decided that I think I'm ready to get rid of the rainbow because it's just not working out well. Like I feel like I don't a hundred percent go by rainbow because I first like to put like, you know, series together. And then sometimes I really want my authors to be together depending on the author. And then whatever gets left over is what ended up in the rainbow. And then I just feel like it doesn't, it doesn't like stand out as much as I want it to stand out. So I feel like I'm just going to scratch the entire rainbow idea together and I'm just going to organize this the same way that I have the rest of my library organized which is by vibe and by author like all my fancy books like I start off with fantasy romance that slowly moves into like you know a mythologies and then like heists and then like YA stuff and like it kind of just it goes with a flow sort of thing and that is what I want to do with this shelf so I already kind of have like half of it set in the way that I want it. Like you can't really see it. Let's quickly show you that top shelf. I don't even think I'm going to touch because that is all of my addicted Callaway books. And I really like how like those are together and they fit very nice up on there. And then I also have like the Kate store books on there, which I might end up like moving around later, depending on what I end up doing. But my point is, is that I've already got it a little bit set up. Like all my Mariana Zapata books that are on this top shelf and then like LJ Shen and then like L Kennedy. So basically I want to just make like all of the bottom shelves that are rainbowed at the moment into, you know, the, how the top shelf kind of is and that is what you are going to come along with me today while I do that so my plan is is to kind of get all of like you know the authors and the series together and then I'm just gonna like wing it and see what ends up happening so I don't really have a huge game plan for this but I do have an idea in mind and I feel like it just it will come together as I you know work on it I'm just saying that I thought this was gonna take so much longer than it ended up taking. I really was prepared to spend all day reorganizing the shelf and somehow I ended up banging it out in like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. What I ended up doing was I started by collecting all of the companion series. I kind of putting all the authors together, making a bunch of piles. And that was actually something that I didn't really think about until I actually started doing it. Like I started putting, pulling books off the shelf like way quicker than I had a spot to put them in. So I ended up making like stacks on stacks on stacks and it got really, really messy. But I ended up making it work because once I got enough books off of the top shelves, I started to just put books on the shelf in the order that I kind of wanted in. And that's when I started to organize it. And that's how it just like really smoothly started to like, you know, work itself out. And I kind of did like companion series. And then right here is when I started to just like put all of the authors together that I had a lot of books from. And then once I got closer to the end, I started having like less and less of those where it's like, oh, I had like three books from this author, two books from that author. And that's when I got stuck with all of my standalones. And this was actually the hardest part to figure out because I didn't really know how to, you know, put them in a specific order because I didn't want to do it in color coded again and I didn't want it to be random so I kind of had to decide what to group them in but I feel like by the time I got to the end I made it work somehow and I was happy with it. So this is how it looks now that I'm done. I did forget to take a before video. So all I have are these before and after pictures, but it's okay. Either way, I am very happy with how it looks now. I feel like it feels a lot more organized to me. So I am happy that I decided to like reorganize this entire shelf. But either way, I did end up keeping the top shelf exactly how it always was. And then I kind of continued on with some series that have to be read in order. And then that kind of moved into some companion series, like my darker ones or my workplace environment ones. And then that moved into like some sports romances and then small town romances and then romantic suspenses and then that kind of trickled itself into all of my standalones that I have multiple books from the same author for so it's like all of my R.S. Gray standalones then all of my Mariana Zapata books and all of my Christina Lauren books all of my V. Keeland and then it kind of worked itself that way until I like you know only had let's say two books from one author and two books from one author and then I ended up with all of my standalones on this last shelf so this is the shelf that I'm not extremely happy with but also like what else do I do with it they're all just like standalone books so it doesn't really matter the order that it's in and I have it in a bit of an order like right now all of these are just like my regularly published romances like this is kind of like fake dating enemies to lovers and like random stuff and then that kind of moves itself into like some school romances some teacher student ones some sports romances and then like single parents and just like randomness like I kind of made it work off a of vibe but also like I don't know if I'm 100% happy with the layout of this yet so I might play with it in the future but for now it just you know it is what it is but either way um this is an empty space that I'm planning to 
keep for when I get more books in the future because I feel like it's smarter to like have extra space and when I get a new book I'm going to then have to go worry it's like okay well what comes off of this beautiful shelf that I just worked so hard for so instead while I was like you know reorganizing everything I took off a bunch of books that I no longer wanted to be on here and then I ended up putting it onto this stack so this wasn't as tall as it was like you know before we started but now I've got like a nice full stack there and so this feels like much more full to me and then I also did add a couple of books to this area that I don't think I ever showed you so I don't really like looking at this area because it's like not very aesthetically pleasing but this is kind of just the space that I put books that I don't have any place else to put so like this stack is specifically books that I've either like read and didn't enjoy and like plan to get rid of or I just like don't really ever plan on reading things along those lines and then most of these are just like arcs or free books that I've gotten from authors and stuff like that that I just I don't really know where else to put in my library so I put them there so we're just gonna like you know avoid that but either way that is more or less it so this is my reorganized bookshelf and then this is more or less the rest of my library all my shadow under books all my books stacked on the floor and then my fantasy shelf so that is all I'm going to be sharing with you guys for today's video. So I hope that you enjoy watching me as I reorganize my romance bookshelf. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep on this for a little bit. Make sure that I'm really happy where every single thing is because knowing myself, I'm going to keep moving it around for the next like couple of days, couple of weeks, who the hell knows. But once I know that I'm very happy with the layout of it, I'm going to make you guys an official bookshelf tour. So if that is something that you wanted to see, then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you get notified when that video comes out. It's probably not going to be anytime soon. I'm thinking like end of December, beginning of January, but I I know that a lot of people really like want to see that because I get questions about that all the time. So if you want an unofficial bookshelf tour, then just know that it's coming. I just have to get like mentally prepared for it. So with that said, um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, enjoy reading.